<sighs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, today I want to talk about um, how much I don't like myself. Um, like, I don't hate myself, but I kind of not like it that much as well. Because um, this is not, I'm not talking to you guys, this is filming. So, okay, anyways. So, um, after I came to UK alone, I have, like, found out, like, how lack um, of love I have received slash given. And with all those apps that I'm on and those things and I've just discovered that how much I easily misunderstand love for physical attraction when it comes to like other people towards me and it's just super disheartening like like when they look at me and then they're like oh uh, you look nice and let's hang out and whatnot and then after a while and we talk and then uh, that's all they want is the outer body and that's all and i mistaken that as love very easily because i'm like in uk right now alone and with nobody to love slash nobody to love me so obviously i would be like very thirsty (laughs) thirsty for love I guess and it's just super saddening I guess like uh, when you go on those apps and um, people invite you to places and whatnot but all you think about after the date is that they don't like you at all that you have so many bad things on your face your body is not good enough, Um, your personality is not good enough, that's why you don't have love, that's why you don't get love, and etc. And with more of that experience, I just start hating and hating myself even more. I'm just like, dude, you're not enough. You're talking about a girl or boy, nobody in particular, don't worry. And it's just super mad it makes you go crazy it makes you like today i started covering my mirrors because i hated looking at myself so much whenever i looked at myself i was like because of this face i don't have anybody that would love me get what i mean and i know that i'm not like do you miss GP? Eh, there's nothing to miss about. Of course, I miss the people, but that's all there is. But it's fine. doesn't matter. Life goes on. But anyways, so, you know, I, I really just hate this state. I hate where I am right now. Not really. I, I love how much I can do, but I hate that I have to wait for her like um like i have no friends here i have nobody here and i have nowhere to go to either and every time i try to make like a reach in in uk or i i try to make like an effort to talk to uh people on like different apps like tinder grinder whatever right doesn't matter it just all becomes, it, it all boils down to them liking me because I look like this. And that's it. Not because I'm nice, not because I am caring, not because I give love or take love. No, just because of my looks or how tall I am or whatever. That's it. And even though they tell me that they like me and they tell me that your face is nice, or whatever you what like doesn't matter right but i would tell myself afterwards because 
they don't want to pursue love or a friendship like a normal thing, any relationship, I would go to the mirror and say, you are ugly and you have so much problem with yourself because how ugly you are. And I buy so much products for it. And I buy products. I buy, um, like, I bought a soap. I bought a cream and whatnot. I start taking on myself. And then there's even more mistakes on my face that I even notice. Like currently, I'm on a filter. Why? Because I don't like my face. Why is that? And it's because just the society that I'm living in, just because um, the current state that I'm in or the person that I am, uh, nobody will love me. And that's it. And that's why I hate myself so much. Not that I hate my personality or anything. I hate that nobody loves me. I hate that so much. And I'm just a kid. I am just a kid. I swear to God, I am just a kid. But I have already endured so much things. Why? I don't understand. I honestly don't. I mean, that's fine, that's good for the future, but sometimes I wish to be simple. Sometimes I wish to be just, you know, maybe I'm in Hong Kong and just everything is normal. My family doesn't hate me, my brother, sister don't hate me, nothing happens, you know, I can live my life and that's it. I don't have to come here for escaping or whatever for my future. You know, I don't want to be in a state where I'm just constantly afraid of losing somebody or constantly thinking about that I'm not good enough to have somebody in my life. Yeah. Uh <sighs> I'm not sure about this. Okay, probably this will fix it. <sighs> so yeah, that's just a little rant about... Like, I get offers, right? I get offers, like, on different apps. But none of them. 800 and something matches. Maybe on Tinder or something, right? By the way, I got, I got like, age-restricted for some reason because they thought that I was under 18, but whatever. Anyways, um, so many matches, but none of them, none of them love me. It's fucking crazy. And when you can't give love or receive love, you just hate yourself so much you just tell yourself like oh because you're not nice enough oh because you're not perfect enough that's why I pursue perfect so much I put on so many effort to look in the mirror find every single mistake on my face find every single like a uh, color variant and whatnot on my face and I'm just like okay maybe that's why nobody likes me because of this pimple Oh, maybe that's why nobody likes me, because of my back knee. Maybe that's why I don't have love. How do you define love? Good question. Sacrifices. When someone sacrifices for you, that means they no longer care that much about your themselves. They care more about you and well-being of you. So if someone sacrifices their time, their energy on you, that's when you know they truly love you. But yet, I've posted one thing on uh, like five years ago on my Instagram, and the caption was, I answer prayers, but no one answers mine. And till this day, this is very true. And yet, four different apps, Timmy, um, Tinder, Grinder, 
and maybe oh 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 three I think <laughs> maybe Instagram right and still nobody no love no friendship no anything all of them is just the most surface level of things and I understand that and with this pandemic it's not even helping because you can't even make friends and when you can't make friends you don't have anybody on here I know I have like a um like 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 um Farah or like you know like long cousins and whatnot but still we can't talk we can't like uh, connect or anything I have endured enough. I want to take a rest. I want to take a rest and I want it now. Is there a God? <laughs> Yar, I hate this. You know, you know, let me show you something. That is a mirror and I covered it up. You know why? Because yesterday I looked at myself and I was like, I'm done with this face. I'm done with this body. Fuck this. I'm done with this shit. I don't want to be alone anymore. What is my fault? What did I do wrong? Nothing. But yet, I'm still here. I don't want to uncover it. Now I don't want to because, by the way, it's so hot in here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just 18, dude. I'm just 18. Fuck this shit. <laughs> uh, so much desire. So much. Mm, so much hate. When you can't love something, you just start hating yourself. At least in my case. Because I absolutely love loving people. You know? But currently there's nobody to love. Shaitan can save you. <laughs> yeah, he probably can. <laughs> I mean, according to Quran, I'm already on his way. <laughs> Desire and attachment causes suffering. Very true. But you have to understand, we are only human. It's, it's human. We are a social animal. And we, when I am attached or anybody is dis, like, no, no, like out of their society, out of their family, out of their friendship, out of like 18 years of what they have built and on a remote island. And you can't even build new friendship for the past six years, six months. It's agony and just pain. I don't know. I don't think it's that much pain. Maybe I'm saying too much. I can quite like endure quite a lot, but I just have to rent because again, social animal thing, you know, like when you have anger and like when you have hate and yeah, it was like literally, we are literally isolated right now. So that's not helping either. <laughs> oh my God every day I go outside now it's like affecting everything I go to Tesco at least I want to go to Tesco I want to buy something and yet I'm just like eh, people will think I'm weird so I'm not gonna go fuck it you know I'll, I'll just be like um I can eat this bread for like four days it's fine <laughs> dude shut up like you're not ugly. You're fine. I tell myself that, but I I don't even want to look at the 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 camera thingy anymore. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's so hot. But yeah. That's it. I think that's it. That's all I want to say. And like, oh my god, let me tell you, like I was with a person um kind of like thing date going on i guess and at the end of the day date i guess like after like three four months of talking and whatnot he bailed on me not bailed but like you know dropped me and uh basically said that i can't be with you because you're a boy 
that's it. Have you ever considered antidepressant? No, not really. I don't really need it, and I don't think that I'm depressed. Um, I think quite positively, and currently I'm hold. I'm not even holding back my tears. I'm just saying what it is. I face too much things to cry on little things. Don't worry. I'm fine. Don't worry, yar. Fara, thanks. But it's fine. Don't worry. Like, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I just, I just need to like take this out. And you know what? I, I did find something that is actually not so good about me. Is that I don't have patience. All of these things, all of these problems that I'm talking about can all be solved with time and that's it. I think you have too much veggie. Getting a burger <laughs> makes you feel better. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to have a good time. Don't worry. I'm not depressed or anything. I'm just trying new things and that's it and you know like changes is one of the biggest things that um people have to face and just because you're changing and you feel sad for now doesn't mean the change is bad you just need to like work hard for it that's it if you became obsessed with the process of becoming and uh, like i need to get to this place yeah i can rely get you really get you down that's true but i don't really need to pursue anything i i i don't know i my biggest problem currently is that i can't wait for love and i need to really drill it into my head that you just because you are alone doesn't mean that you do, don't deserve love or you won't get love Although there are over two and two billion people on this earth that would hate me, approximately. <laughs> so that's another thing to consider. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I need to tell you something. Okay, this um. I will upload this to YouTube though, but um, your comments won't show on YouTube, so you can comment it in here. Don't worry. Oh, oh okay, okay then. Um, right, let me think. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I just need to learn how to be comfortable being alone. And that's the hardest thing. It's because you are rebelling against your human nature, which is having a society. And once you have consciousness, you have to conquer that. And once you are in a situation where you are alone, where, yeah, the, the reason why lockdown is so bad is that people are rebelling against their human instinct, human um, ability or desire to be with each other. And I've been in lockdown, or even worse kind of lockdown, because my my family is like 6,000 kilometers away. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> okay, fuck it, fuck it. That's it. That's, that's all I want to say. It's fine. I'm good. Everything is good. Um, I will probably find a boo someday. It doesn't matter. I will get along with myself. I will stop hating myself. I saw a report article or something which is about happiness. Um... In I, I will just tell you very easily. In the word happiness, you have two vowels. One is ha, the other one is penis. That's all you need for happiness. It's a little bit of laughter and a lot of penis. <laughs> okay. Bye. Ciao. Eat dinner. Don't eat garbage food stay healthy subscribe because do it